Hey guys, Rick Stone here from Stony Acres Gardening. Welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to be making one of these pretty simple and inexpensive to make garden trellises. So let's get started. All right guys, so we have wanted to add some vertical to our garden for a while now, both here in this raised bed, we've got a flower bed we wanted to do a little addition to. And so we made this trellis to see what we thought of it. And we've kind of fallen in love with it. It was really simple and inexpensive to make. I made this with a little bit less than $20 worth of lumber and a few screws, and we are off to the races. So actually fairly easy to make. And so we're gonna make another one today because we like this one so much, we're gonna put one in the front yard as well. So I'm gonna run through how to make this very simple to build garden trellis. So in order to keep this inexpensive, we are going to go ahead and use Douglas fir. So uh, that's a relatively inexpensive lumber. If you want to make it last a little bit longer, you could make this out of cedar or you could make it out of redwood. Either one of those, about three times as expensive, but is probably going to last longer. We're gonna treat this with linseed oil to kind of help extend the life a little bit, but um, we made ours out of Douglas fir. So you have two different options as to how you can come up with the lumber. We need this. So we need two by two lumber. I prefer to buy two by fours and then I rip those two by fours in half on my table saw in order to come up with the two by two lumber. Okay. And so that everybody knows this is US standard. And so it's actually not two by two. They're actually one and a half by one and a half, but for some reason we call them two by twos. So um, I ripped these on the table saw. The reason why I did that is because I feel like when you buy two by fours, you get a little bit straighter, nicer quality lumber. Um, and so I try to do that and, and use my table saw. If you don't have a table saw, then you can just go ahead and buy two by two boards from your local uh, hardware store and you should be able to make that work as well. So if you're gonna rip them on a table saw, you need three two by fours with full length two by four, so two by four by eight foot lengths. If you are going to buy them as two by twos in order to complete this project, you will need six two by two by eight foot boards, okay? Then is what we're gonna do is we are going to cut these down. And so I have a chop saw that I used, and so I got a little bit fancy. My daughter, who is amazing at math, figured out I wanted these to be 30 inches wide inside at the base. And so she figured out for me the angle, using a little trigonometry, that we needed to cut these with so that they would be flat at the top. And that angle is 12 degrees. So I'm gonna use my, my miter saw to cut these with parallel cuts at the top and the bottom, 12 degrees on that cut, and we want these to be 72 inches long. So we need four 72 inch long boards to make up the long sides of these, okay? So that's our first cuts that we're gonna do. Now, if you don't have a miter saw, that's okay. You can just cut these at 72 inches long. They just won't sit quite as nicely on the ground because they'll, they'll have a, you know, kind of a pointy end. The, the angle, cutting the angle kind of makes things just a little bit flatter, but you don't absolutely have to do that, okay? So you can, if you don't have a miter saw, you can just cut them with a hand saw at 72 inches and you are good, okay? Next, we need to cut the horizontal pieces and we need four of each of these, okay? So first off, we need four and we're gonna cut these, if you're cutting the angles in, again, we're gonna use a 12 degree angle, but we're gonna, instead of cutting them parallel, we're gonna cut them so that they go in towards each other, okay? So we're gonna cut four eight and a half inch pieces. We are going to cut four 18 inch pieces and we are going to cut four 30 and a half inch pieces, okay? That will give us all the lumber that we need. Then on top of that, I chose just a, a nice little round cap to put on the top. You can pick one of these up at your local hardware stores. We happen to have some just sitting around that we're gonna use, but um, you can just cho choose something to kind of top it off. Uh, make it look nice on the top. Then the one thing that you do want to do is you want to pre-drill your holes in all of these. Okay, so we're going to pre-drill all of our horizontal boards so that they have the holes in so that we don't split. And then we're just going to use screws to assemble these. So let's slide over here to the patio and we're going to put this together. This next part is actually pretty easy is what we're going to do is we want the inside dimensions of this down here 
to be 30 inches. So I've measured that out and I've put just a sacrificial piece. So this is part of the, this is just a little sacrificial piece of lumber that I'm using to keep this distance at 30 inches, okay? Then we're gonna just go ahead and add our horizontal bars to this. And we are going to do it at 12 inches, at 35 inches, and at 65 inches is where those are gonna go. Honestly, this is gonna kinda depend a little bit on how accurate you were on your measurements, but basically you want the bottom of the horizontal to be at those measurements, okay? And then we're just simply, I'm just gonna use screws. You could, if you wanted to, put a little wood glue on there as well, but I'm not going to, partially because I may take these apart in the winter. So, gonna leave them like that. So we will just simply put these on. You just wanna make sure that we are even over here. Put these guys on. And then that's it for one side. So now I'm gonna put the other side together exactly like this, and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to put the whole structure together, which again, is pretty simple. So here's how we're gonna put the sides together. Uh, it gets a little bit tricky, especially when there's only one of you, like there is for me. But is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the first of the cross pieces set in place so that they're there they're lined up with the other pieces. Then we want to get our measurement again. So we want to make sure that we are 30 inches to the inside. There's like total lots of honor to the guys that do woodworking videos because this is hard to do and talk and figure out how to tell you guys how to do this. So once we have that 30 inches, then we just make sure that we are flush here. And then we should just be able to size up these other two. I'm actually gonna do this top one first so that we're pretty sure that we've got all our measurements correct. And this one will just go in. Then we're just gonna turn it over, do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so that's it. Um, now we can actually set it up here. You can see that it's all together. I'll go adjust the camera. 
The one thing we do want to do as well, though, is we want to get that cap piece on. So let's talk about that. So again, guys, total respect to the woodworking people that figure out how to make all these angles and stuff. I've never done something like this before, and it's hard to film a video with all these different angles, but I wanted to show you how I'm gonna put the cap on. So I've pre-drilled four holes into the cap, and we want to put a big screw, and I've gone a little bit longer with these screws. So these are three and a half inch screws, and we're gonna put those so that they go straight down into the post. And you want one in each post because that's going to kind of tie everything together. So we'll come just like this. Okay, there you go. That's in. Okay, and just like that, we've got a simple trellis. Nothing fancy, nothing terribly beautiful. Might be a little bit ski wampus, I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, really easy to do less than twenty dollars worth of lumber three two by fours they were each about four dollars each so we're total less than twenty dollars in in all the materials and uh, we're finished if you wanted to you could get some just some scrap lumber and you could add another piece here in the center that would give you a little bit more to for those to grow up on uh, if you've got some scrap around for the original one, I did have some scrap. For this one, I don't. And so instead is what I'm gonna do is I'm going to plant the beans here at the base. And then as they start to grow up, I'm actually going to just put some twine, some garden twine down here to allow those to grow up. So we'll plant here, here, and then two or three seeds along the base all the way around. Let those grow up. This will just fill up with beany goodness and we'll be super happy with it. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. Uh, I enjoyed making it. It was tricky to do. I have way more mad respect for the woodworking uh, YouTubers out there that put these projects together and, and can show the good angles and everything like that. So hopefully it was helpful to you. Let me know uh, in the description what you thought and if you're going to try this simple trellis out. There is cut lists down in the description of this video so that you know the, the, the lengths and degrees and everything that you need to cut these with. Um, again, good little trellis. I think we're going to enjoy it. This We'll have two of them, and uh, I think we're going to really like having these around in the garden. If you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Um, follow us here. We'd love to have you join us over on Instagram as well, so go sign up there. And then please make sure you go check out the Gardening Academy, which is our month monthly membership platform. We have over 40 gardening courses to help you become a better gardener on that platform. There's a link that you can go check that out down in the description below. Okay, that's all I have for you for this week. Everybody have a fantastic week. Happy gardening.